Buhai Labour Party won 2023 presidential election in Lagos, APC Chieftain explains. In a recent interview, Chief Olawale Mogaji, a prominent member of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, in Lagos, has shared insights into the party's continued dominance in the state and the unexpected outcome of the 2023 presidential election as reported by The Sun. Mogaji highlighted the importance of governance continuity in Lagos over the past 24 years, underlining the implementation of development plans across successive administrations. He noted the growing support from the people of Lagos Mm -hmm. for the APC and the combined efforts of party structure as key factors contributing to its permanence in power. Responding to concerns about non-indigenous role in the state politics, Mogaji acknowledged the huge presence and stressed the importance of accommodating the interests within the state's governance framework. Regarding the 2023 presidential election, Mogaji, Mogaji admitted to a major upset when the Labour Party emerged victorious over the APC. He connected this outcome to internal he connected this outcome to internal party issues among members as well as the Labour Party's appeal non to non-indigenous voters. However, Mogaji underlined APC's determination and its ability to fully support among dis- disaffected members leading to a re-establishment of party dominance. He described it as a period of soul-searching for the APC, resulting in growing effort to secure electoral victory. Turning to national policies, Mogadi discussed the President Tilumbu's decision to remove subsidies on petrol, acknowledging the hardship faced by Nigerians as a result. Despite recognizing the necessity of such a decision, Mogaji urged governments to prioritize resolving the policy's negative effects, particularly on food security. Looking ahead, Mogaji advised a multi-sectoral approach involving collaboration between all levels of government and social stakeholders and societal stakeholders to address the challenges arising from subsidy removal. He stressed the importance of unity and combined efforts in finding solutions to the issues confronting the nation. Well, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. The reason I'm support of all elections should be held the same day to avoid robbery against Labour Party in 2023 elections. Anything short of that will lead to millions shoring further elections in Nigeria. Mogaji has nothing to offer for public consumption. He only came out to display his lips just to remind the public of his existence. Who are the non-indigenous voters? Please know it's that Abiokuta, Akure, Oyo, etc. living in Lagos is non-indigenous voters. Nigeria is one. Obi triumph in Lagos was due to poor performance of APC government at the federal. On the issues of subsidy removal, practically no alternative. You are a liar. Which type of disunity in a party that will allow an eight years ruler to lose to an outsider? You are not a political scientist to know what is called political revolution. It will happen again. The obedience are still very everywhere in Lagos. The APC was able to win the governorship and state house of assembly elections because he used violence to stop Indibo and those that looked like to them from voting at the elections. Tinubu APC are not loved by Lagosians. 
because of the insensitive, inhumane, and oppressive governance style used in the state. If elections are held again today, Tinubu APC will lose. The Labour Party secured more than a million votes in the federal capital, and despite INEC chairman Yakubu Mahmoud Yahoo, disenfranchisement of voters during the presidential election. Labour Party won the 25th of February presidential election. The Labour Party scored more than a million votes during the election. Your opinion here on subsidy removal is nothing but real. This is your realistic position, is rare among politicians. Thus, you deserve commendation. Well, these are just what a few people are saying. Make sure to leave your comments in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know.